So now we're going to do an example on the probability of combination of events. So it says events A and B are such that the probability of A is 13 out of 20, probability of B is 3 out of 4, and the probability of A union B is 4 out of 5. It says find the probability of A intersection B. Now, a great temptation uh, to do this is to mul multiply this by this, which you can't do unless you know that the events are independent, which we'll look at in a later video. So, the probability of A is 13 out of 20. The probability of B is 3 out of 4. The probability of A union B is 4 out of 5. We need to find an in intersection. Now, we know from the previous video that the probability of A union B, A or B, is the probability of A plus the probability of B, minus the probability of A intersection B, or A and B. Now we can rearrange this to make this a subject. So if we rearrange it, we get the probability of A intersection B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A union B. So basically all you do is you take that over here, and then you take this over here. So that's going to be the probability of A, which is 13 out of 20, plus the probability of B, which is 3 over 4, minus the probability of A union B, which is 4 out of 5. Put these all over a common denominator, you get 13 over 20, 15 over 20, minus 16 over 20, or you just use the fraction button on your calculator. And you get an answer of 12 out of 20 which cancels down 3 out of 5. If you do this directly, you'll get that answer. Right, let's have a look at this in a Venn diagram. So we've got the sample space, the number in A, the number in B. So in the intersection, we have 12. So in A, we have 13 altogether, so that means there will be 1 here. And there will be... Uh, 3 here, so 1 plus 12 uh, plus 3 will make the 16, which is what you get in A union B, and there will be 4 outside here that are not in A or B. Okay, so this has been a video to show the application of the combination of events. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.